What's up, whatever, I'm Paul from Timeless Productions here, and today we're going to be going over another achievement in Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, Karate Champ, for defeating at least 30 special forces barehanded. Now, the first time I was attempting this, I was doing this completely wrong. I was using the double lariat, I think is how you say it, the one where he spins around and he's like using his fist and spinning around and hitting everything. That is the worst way to do this. I tried it at first, kept dying, kept dying. Now, I found this strategy, which is absolutely phenomenal when I tell you. So what we're going to do is right inside of overtime mode, right around the time when the military comes, we're going to go ahead and head into where the security room is, which you should already be here. If you're not already here, get to the security room. We're going to head onto the roof and into the door towards the warehouse, this door right here. Now, we're going to reuse this door about a billion times. When you come in here... These special forces, if it's right at the beginning, they'll all be on the ground and they'll be looking around trying to figure out where survivors are and all of that. Now, what we want to do is enter and exit this door onto the roof multiple times because at some points, the military guys will actually spawn up here on top. As you guys can see, we got a bunch of them to spawn up here. All you want to do is alert them and as soon as you alert them, we're going to, of course use one of the best barehanded move sets inside of this game which is going to be of course the disembowelment now this is a one hit kill not only for zombies but any special forces soldier that you fight is for the cultists and the special forces soldier so we're just going to wait for them to get to this corner of this door and as soon as they get there we're just going to go ahead and use the disembowelment and we're just going to keep disemboweling all of the security forces as they come. And we're just going to keep repeating this process. As soon as you kill all of them that are up here, we're just going to go ahead, exit out the door, come back through the door, repeat the process until, of course, we get to our 30. Once we get to our 30, we're going to go ahead and, of course, get the challenge and get the achievement just like that. Now, this strategy works perfectly, as you guys can see right here. This is one of the best ways in my opinion to go for this achievement so i highly recommend you guys attempt this inside again overtime mode you can do this after you've beaten the game and just go right into overtime mode or you could you know rebeat the game get into overtime mode by doing all of the cases normally so with that being said thank you guys for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe for more content we'll see you guys in the next video goodbye and remember to stay timeless